In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a hinging partial mounting panel in a TS-8 and an SE-8 enclosure. Once you choose your panel size, don't forget to order an 8614-100. That's the mechanism that actually will make your panel hinge. The second or third part number that we need is your installation kit. It's the exact same installation kit as you would use for a swing frame. The instructions for hinging a panel are in the very last page of the swing frame instructions. What we're looking at here is actually a swing frame installed in the uppermost position all the way forward. If you choose to put your panel and hinge it in that location, easy to do. The instructions show you how to do that. Please refer to my video on installing a partial swing frame. In this video, we're actually going to do it in a position a little further down and a little further back to show you what a hinging panel looks like and how you set it up in an enclosure. Again, very similar to the swing frame. Okay, so this is my 8614.100 and it's my hinging panel kit. So you've got two blocks with pins on them, two kit clip nuts that are going to go in here for the catches, a couple other screws. What you want to do is you're going to slide this in up here and you're going to take a T30 So since those are fixed, I'm just going to leave the bottom one out because since they don't slide like your partial or your full size swing frames, there's no way for those to recess to slide it in place. So I'm going to put this one on later. These are going to be catches for the other end. Uh, so we're going to do that. Looks like all you have to do here is if this or the bottom one, you want to slide this in. That's what's going to catch and secure your panel on the hinge side. So We'll get this assembled here shortly. Now that we have the system chassis and the installation kit installed, I'm going to go ahead and put my partial panel in. So I'm going to take the position with the pin in the top and I'm going to insert that in first. Kind of come in at an angle, locate the hole in the bar and it simply slides into place. Position the notch in the panel over the hole in the lower bar, put your bracket in, secure it with the screw and that's all there is to hinging this panel. What I'm going to do now is apply the catches to the other side of it, so the far side. And this is a way that we'll be able to secure the panel down and keep it in a fixed position, even if we were going to transport it, um, or just to keep the equipment from, from moving. So there's going to be two screws that hold this bracket on. You also want to put the clip nut in the outside most position. There's going to be two of them. Use the outermost position. That'll line up the holes on the panel with the line on the bracket. Now, a close eye will tell you that I actually moved the mounting panel out of the enclosure to install these brackets. I needed just a little bit more room with the tools that I was using to drive the screws in. Now that you're done, again, just make sure that everything lines up properly and that you've installed the catches in the proper location. And then from a little further angle straight on, I'll just put in my fasteners. These will be T30s and just drive those in top and bottom and you'll have your panel in a fixed position while it's still being able to hinge on the left. 